When you start End of Nations as a player, you'll be able to choose from two different factions. The depth of our different player factions allows for a very diverse range of playing styles. Well, the game takes place 50 years in the future. The world is basically on political and economical collapse. And up from this rises a group called Order of Nations, who starts passing out food, brings peace and security back to the people. But only after it's too late do people realize that the government is the worst kind of tyrannical dictatorship. That's where these factions come in. These are organized groups fighting against the Order of Nations. The Liberation Front and the Shadow Revolution both have specific and very different views on how the world should look. The Shadow Revolution is comprised of ex-Order of Nations members. They like the idea of bringing order to the world, but disagreed with how it was being done. They stole technology, and they left the Order of Nations faction. When they have a conflict with the Order of Nations, they know the secret code that gets them in. Uh, so they're all about stealthing in, getting the job done, and then leaving. So it's about setting the battlefield up to your advantage, surprising the enemy, and then knocking them out. The Liberation Front is made up of pre-economic collapse military forces. They're a faction that believes in democracy and freedom for people once again. They're the remnants of the EU, Russia, and Americas that got together to form this uh, very hard, heavy-hitting faction. They definitely are more focused on frontal assault, heavy attacks, heavy armor, very powerful vehicles. Essentially, we want both factions to have a great experience for years to come. It's about proving that ultimately your faction is the right faction to destroy the Order of Nations. <laughs>